We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. <laughs> What the hell was that all about? Hmm, unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. It's some kind of semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Whee! Hey, Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? Well, I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, well, what you got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless it was summoned by T-H-E-M. Who summoned the Triangle here? I told you, T-H-E-M. I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming. Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys. They're coming for us. I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape, and I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids and a Y2K scare. How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them, if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do we communicate with the Triangle? Well, they're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And sibyls, apparently. Mm-hmm. Those, too. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time. The store's closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. You can't close the store, Bosco. Everything we value was bought or shoplifted from here. Don't you see? The end is nigh. Nigh? Yes, nigh! Wandering Bermuda Triangles, strange radio transmissions. Don't you see? It's T-H-E-M! They're coming! I have to relocate before it's too late! Where are you planning to go? Oh, uh-huh. You'd like me to tell you where my emergency bunker is. No chance. You'll have to stop goofing off and build your own. It's just like the fable of the grasshopper and the ant. If the ant were a paranoid lunatic, and the grasshoppers, too, come to think of it. Not that we're planning to hide in it, but uh, where's your emergency bunker, Bosco? For the last time. 
My secret bunker, secret location is a secret. Keep watching the skies, Bosco. Always. Damn it, stupid spot. Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Hiya, Stinky. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa, Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue. Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired, went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialize in the more circular, interdimensional portals. Some expert? Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. Any ideas to help, Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short-term, but thanks. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I think we'll be hearing from him ever again because you sent him on a permanent vacation no because he was a cheapskate and i refuse collect calls what is it with you guys we're ready to order we'd like the soft boiled eggs on waffles with coffee extra cream sal get me scooter libby on a glockenspiel with mike tyson singing alto we want the green salad, extra smoky, with a side of cracked nuts. Sal, the Jack Nicholson with Dennis Hopper and Gary Busey. I'll have the deep-fried devil dogs with a diet drink, and Max will have the salad plate with extra blue cheese. Sal, half a Jack Black with a supersized Kira Knightley, in deep denial. Could we have the grilled cheese with Tabasco and a side of curly fries? Sal, I need Diane Sawyer with the flamethrower hopped up on goofballs. Ooh, so do I. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. Bye, Stinky. Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm doing surveillance. Oh, boy. Real detective work. Who are you spying on? Some mug name of Bosco. Stinky's has a no smoking unless you're Flint policy. Sounds a lot like their policy on homicides. 
Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Christmas saved. Santa pronounced dead at the scene. He's not dead, just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. Ah! Oh, oh. it stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My... Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling. I'll save you. As I was saying, there's another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam. God, I hope not. tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburned so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation, too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui. The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later, you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Whoa, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. What exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then a terrible cataclysm. The great volcano god Ranakau would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. What do you want us to do? You must stop Ranakau from erupting and destroying us all. 
Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Deadbeat really is the universal language. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just rife with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. Who are you guys, anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. What's the deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. I'm just the way the carvers made me. What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> oh, yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod, followed by the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? <laughs> oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks, who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. Want a delicious sandwich? Uh, Open your mouth! Oh, right, you can. Want a delicious sandwich? No, thank you. I'm watching my figure. You're not the only one. <laughs> you know what would cheer you up? A granite sandwich. A granite sandwich? That's the best you can do? Apparently your taste in cuisine is as refined as your sense of humor. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'm ready to chisel this guy a new one. Want a delicious sandwich? No, thanks, Sam. Want a delicious sandwich? I can't. I'm going swimming later.
Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tank belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. You should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. A little bit, a little bit. Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here! We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. He's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. Playtime is over, son. We've got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Don't insult me. Jimmy Hoffa don't eat nothing unless it's made by a union cook. What if we pick off the non-union parts? Nothing to it. Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Pipe down, Chucklehead. Oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorph's Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies. Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Hi, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up. We're not babies. God. <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the diapers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. You've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh, Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! What gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. 
You don't call, you don't write. You've had conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. Once you start drinking from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Well, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? It was a very carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the hot limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half. Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia. See you around, kids. No, they look like they're still eating soft food. Nuh uh. Now, the hunger will improve his art. Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, freelance volcano stoppers. Well, gosh, I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> I, I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. You're a missing person? We thought you were dead. No, yeah, I get that a lot. I was here 20 years before I believed I wasn't really dead. <laughs> Hated to break it to you, Glenn, but all that hot playing was getting annoying. What's Benny Goodman like in person? Well, Benny could do things with a clarinet that nobody else could. Well, thank God, hey, uh, one night after a show in New York, well, well, I'll just tell you, it was the damnedest thing I ever saw, and, and leave it at that. Well, there's a lady present. Was Count Basie really a vampire? A golem, actually, but we never held that against him. Those were simpler times. How'd you end up here? I was on a, a mission for the Air Force, and, and I flew here. You mean your plane was sucked through a portal into an alternate dimension and deposited here? No, just got kind of lost and crashed on Easter Island. You ever get a, a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out? It's downright distracting. Why didn't you ever go back home? I can't go back now without a big comeback hit. It, it'd be anticlimactic. What do you need help with? So I'm trying to find just that, that perfect sound for my next big hit. Oh, is that all? Well, well gee, thanks, but I don't want to just put out a repeat of my early stuff. It's got to be new and, and fresh. But I'm stuck on, on two things. I need a catchy melody, and I need a good train sound. You need a melody and a trained whistle for your song? Oh, you bet. I'm pulling out all the stops. This song's gonna be about all the things the kids are into these days. Trains and sock hops, swing dancing, methamphetamines. But how are we gonna find a new melody? You've been here 60 years and haven't been able to. Give me a break, guys. I'm teething. Baby Lindbergh baby tells me that that electronic music is popular now. Maybe I should try that. Keep on rocking, Glenn. Word. The pacifier. Ingredients? 
kerosene, pepper spray, dihydrocapsaicin, and wasabi. The diaper rash. Ingredients, bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. Water. Ingredients, artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and water. Fire's not intense enough to boil the water. More fire! More fire! Pardon me, boys. Was that the Rapa Nui Choo Choo? No, it's just an eerily accurate simulacrum of a train whistle we constructed out of everyday household items. Don't say simulacrum. Well, that's perfect. That's just the sound I need for my big hit. Well, now I'm just stuck on the melody. H help me with that, would you? If I had a hammer. Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was going to use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Hmm. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. It's empty. Look at all this junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the 20 commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. What was that about? I'm making 12 monkey chili. And do you usually forget to add the monkeys? No, I just forget to peel them. Uh, this is the blood bank calling for Mr. Max. Um, thanks for your very generous donation, but we'd really prefer that people only donate their own blood. Great. Now what are we going to do with all those buckets of sea monster blood? We could build a grotesque slip and slide. Great idea. We'll call it the birth canal. It's bad enough the TV station started showing static to cut costs, but now they're showing reruns. I haven't seen this one yet. Don't tell me how it ends. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. These goggles used to let us access Reality 2.0 before we broke them and it. The former head of state. Hugh Bliss is as disgustingly sweet as ever. The scariest thing about Brady Culture's hair is that it's still growing. This little bear taught us that the greatest power of all is hypnotism. Stronger than love? What do you think love is? Leonard looks surprisingly healthy for someone who's been in a... I've been feeding him. Aw, oh, you old softy. I had to find some way to get rid of all those spiders.
Miss me already, chumps? Well, I ain't coming back no matter how much you beg. The place just isn't the same without your persistent funk and wheezy snoring. Yeah, well, I'm done with that rat hole. This new place is extra class. We're gonna do it up nice. Howdy, cops. Anything new in the auto body business? Do you want to have ladies love you and men want to be you? Naturally. Make that dream a reality with our brand new car horn. With a captivating melody composed by our resident musical maestro. OMFT, I want one! All right, enough with the sales pitch. How much? It is not for sale. Denied! We're sorry. The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of our new augmented reality game. Tell us about this new game you're working on. That is correct. It will revolutionize the entire industry. A music-based video game. Boom! We are sorry. Did we just blow your mind? Sounds fun. I don't like to brag, but my prowess at Banjo Legend Extreme is pretty renowned throughout the tri-state area. And I've been banned from 27 local arcades for playing Forbidden Dance Insurrection in ways the designers never intended. Does not compute. You are saying that music video games already exist? Failure! Do you guys know anything about Easter Island? Accessing Ellipsis Easter Island was founded in 1914 by former members of the ATS Progressive Rock Band Asia. Located off the southwest coast of your mom, the island is considered by many to be the birthplace of television personality Ryan Seacrest, as well as American jazz music. I see you're still doing all your research on the internet. Information wants to be wrong! How do we play this game of yours? In a world where folk music instruments litter the mean streets, your mission is clear. Destroy all the bagpipes! Bagpipe obliteration ultimate! Don't we have to destroy the bagpipes at the right time, earning more points the closer we get to being in rhythm with the soundtrack? That's way too complicated! Calculating that would require processing power far beyond error, not a number. Just destroy all the bagpipes to win our exclusive new car horn! We hate bagpipes! Would you like to play our game? Let's do it! Hello, and welcome to the Pimplicar Music Challenge! Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes! Bring the noise! Ready? Congratulations! You are a winner! Congratulations! You've won the exclusive Pimpla Car Audio Enhancement Accessory! Amaze your friends! Be sure to come back soon and play again. But, but Sam! Don't worry, Max. I'll put it back before we go cruising again. Whee! 
Hey, cops, what's new? Who is overrated? We'd like to play your game again. Obliterate the bagpipes to win fabulous prizes. With my driving skills and your dead weight, we're going to have the most tricked out car in the neighborhood. I just like to win things. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! You just earned a free decal. Congratulations, you are a winner! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Of course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Congratulations, you are a winner! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Yes. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Congratulations, you are a winner!
Would you like to try again? No way. We've got better things to do. We are skeptical, but if you insist, shut down in progress. Free decal awarded. for you! Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere in particular. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? No.
Would you like to try the driving challenge now? Yes. Yo, go. Ready? Go. Congratulations, you are a winner! Would you like to try again? No way, we need a break. Shut down in progress. Worth a deep. Congratulations, you've earned every decal currently in stock. You win the big honking mystery prize. Thanks, guys. You make the best completely worthless upgrades around. Hey, Glenn, listen to this action. That's, that's fantastic. Who wrote it? Bring him with you so I can work with him full time. I don't think he'd like it here. No outlets. Well, in any case, that's the perfect melody for my new hit. Let's get started making musical history, boys. There's a demo on that conch shell. This is going to be huge. Are we going to get a producer credit? Uh, talk to my agent. Bang! Bang!
take a listen to this. Oh, is it another of Glenn Miller's recordings? I've probably already heard it. It's the hot new sound that's sweeping the nation. Crank it up, Sam. Hmm, this isn't bad. It's got a good beat. It could do without the train sound, but the rest, it's downright toe-tapping. What is that enchanting whistling sound? Abe, are you even listening to me? Hello, we're Sam and Max, freelance police. What do you do? I'm the guardian of the sea. What was that? I can't understand you. I said, I'm the guardian of the storm. Still can't understand you. Speak a little more clearly. I said, ah! Have another listen to this new hit. You'd probably make more friends if you'd just enunciate more clearly. <laughs> hmm, anybody have any malt vinegar? How's the vacation going? Oh, the weather's perfect, and there's so much history and culture. The best part is that Abe and I finally get some time all to ourselves, with no distractions. Isn't that right, Abe? Abe? What? Oh, yeah, right. Culture. Just between the four of us, those Moai statues are real jerks. No, you just shut your mouth. Abe, I agree, Sam. They're all so sullen and moody. Right, because you're never moody. I wish these Moai guys would stop being so depressing. I've seen teenagers stuffed in lockers who are less emo than these guys. You're just too shallow to understand them. Have you met any of the locals? Not yet. I wanted to explore more of the island, but Abe wanted to stay here. The view's so much nicer here. Er, of the ocean, I mean. Did you know that the native language has over 50 words for boredom? I'm not bored, surrounded by such beauty. Oh, Abe. The volcano's going to erupt in a deadly rain of fiery magma. Aren't you worried? Are you sure you're a dog? Because you sound like a big chicken. Oh, be nice, Abe. If it looks like the volcano's going to blow, we'll just hop back through the triangle. Have fun, kids. Don't wait up. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still too tibby as shy of a complete set. It's the Fountain of Youth. Want a drink, Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union waitstaff. Do you want it in your shippy cup? I want it served by a dues-paying member of the waitress's union. How do we get into the waitress's union? Fortunately for you, I am the union leader and also dues collector. Yeah, yeah, I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Pick a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. Now that's an odd feeling. Hey, what gives? The fountain of youth water is gone. Have you been sneaking into my inventory again, Max? Don't blame me if you're having trouble holding your water. Stupid magic water evaporates if it gets too far away from the fountain. 
That's damned inconvenient. Hey, Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. Why? Oh, you're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Watch out for flying bottles. Oh, wait, hot damn. Watch out for flying bottles. You lost, Sam. True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. True surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons, either. I'm pretty sure you lost. Radical. Rad it. Woo wee! Ride that sucker! No way. Hot dang! You rode that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle. Now do it with me on your head! Not unless one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. Oh, Abe, isn't it beautiful? With that gentle breeze and that melody in the air. Mmm. Abe? Ever since those heads started talking, you haven't heard one word I've said. Right. What? Oh, I mean, did they talk? I, I hadn't noticed. So anyway, for our next vacation... Hey, Wendy. We... Sybil, I mean, Sybil. Have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time. Come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean, all right. You're just in a mood. No, I'm not. I will long remember what you said here, and I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this. And on my birthday. Did somebody say birthday? <laughs> wow. And again, I forget to bring my video camera. Let's take in some sights. Vice versa. How about that, Hoffa? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now get me a drink. Thank you. Hmm. This tastes familiar. I can't place exactly where... Oh, wait. I remember. Sorry, Max. I know you were getting attached to the little guy, but it's for the good of the island. Attached to who? Oh, right. Did he leave his gun?
Anybody home? We're here to fix your volcano, God. Interlopers! You dare violate our most sacred sanctuary. You're all in danger. The volcano's going to erupt. I don't like how their tentacles move. You threaten defeat. You must answer to our leader, the High Priest. Mighty Kamehameha doing donuts in a splintered paddle boat. Look, Max, it's the spectral form of Mr. Spatula. That's just our dead goldfish! Gus! Last video! Anger, High Priest! Oh, mighty one! What be the punishment? High Priest has spoken! You to be executed! Now hang on. What you have saved for self? Think about what you're doing. You seem like a fairly reasonable group of, uh, what are you anyway? We are the Underfoot, protectors of the sacred home of Ranakao, the volcano god. The air breathers call us ocean chimps. We no like that name. Your high priest is a false prophet. That very serious claim to make could make us lose tax-exempt status. How you back it up? With a fillet knife and some sushi rice. Kill them! You can't execute us. We're the freelance police. Killing us would bring down the wrath of legions of fans and licensors. Not to mention the ASPCA. We no like killing. Speak for self. But we must act on will of High Priest. He our only conduit to mighty feet. We know that imposter is lying because Max is the true High Priest. Hmm, he does have feet. Maybe Shulu's dog speaks the truth. Look, we ancient civilization that worship giant feet who speak to us through ghostfish, High Priest. We're not gullible. If white one with mouth truly is high priest, he prove it by fulfilling the ancient prophecies. I bet there are three of them. He knows our ancient traditions. Maybe he really is the chosen one. Ancients say that an outsider will be anointed by the feet. The feet will recognize him. And he will perform great miracle to feed his people. What was water becomes delicious treat. And the island itself will show us the face of the true high priest. He appears before us in the living rock. Explain this whole anointed by the feet business. The great feet speak to us through the high priest. The outsiders stand under the great feet. They move to show they accept him. What kind of miracle are you guys looking for? Prophecy say, the high priest feed us all by turning water to banang. Banang! Banang! Banang? A delicious banana flavor drink that fortified with essential vitamins and minerals. Niacin! Riboflavin! What do you mean about the island showing his true face? Prophecy say, image of true high priest will appear to us in the cavern that prove our high priest is the one look you mean that image of max what you crazy that no look anything like max max have two ears that just a seashell rock next to it Look exactly like High Priest, though. It's miracle! All that is Max, in a nutshell. We believe it when we see it. We fair people. We give you until sundown. You prove White One is High Priest, and we no kill you. We'll be back. Remember, death at sundown. Don't be late.
It's an incontinent sea snail. I hope that's red ink and not something else. The world beneath the sea is both wondrous and completely disgusting. Hmm, some interesting seaside reading. Is it piloting for imbeciles? Nope. The Desperately Lonely Traveler's Guide to Easter Island. For the most relaxing trip on Easter Island, bring plenty of basalt. It's a mind-altering substance for the moai that helps them tune in, turn on, and drop out. Hmm, the plane's radio still seems to be working. Hello? You're listening to Get the Let Out Weekend on 107.7 KSAM. KSAM, Easter Island. Over and out. Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, 101720006. Over and out. I know you're out there. We are observing your Earth. What? We have come at last. Prepare to meet your doom. You just try and find me. We heard that, Bosco. We are not amused. Ah, can't talk. Gotta go. Just respond if you can hear me. Attention. <laughs> tora, Tora, Tora. Over and out. Tora, Tora, Tora. Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, one zero one seven two zero zero six. Over and out. Crates full of video games about crates. Sybil's office is closed. What does she do now, anyway? I don't know, but whatever it is, she's doing even less of it than usual. <laughs> Hiya, Stinky. What? Oh. Um, what are you guys doing? Uh, red improves digestion. Don't try to argue with feng shui, Stinky. It's science. I never really expected that to work. Paranormal entities are dumb and gullible.
drink it all, little buddy. All the good youth is at the bottom. Well, did it work? I guess so. I think your music sucks and I want to stay out all night. You already do that, Chowderhead. Now let's hurry up before our voices start changing. Hello, Miss Stinky. What do you boys want? Do you have money to pay? Drop the attitude, lady. I'm the president. Max! President's adorable nephew here for a visit. Well, since I know the president personally, I guess it's okay. What's your order? We like the special. You're in luck, boys. I've got one already made. One basalt sandwich coming up. Aren't you gonna cut the crusts off? I've, um, misplaced my knife. You probably left it in the real Stinky's body. It's an honest mistake. Oh, that's silly, you little rascals. <laughs> now, run along and play before I call child services. What happened, Sam? I feel a sudden urge to vote Republican. We're not as young as we used to be, Max. The fountain's effects wear off quickly. Think Bosco would mind if we helped ourselves to some banane? Good question. Another good question. One can or two? One should be plenty. Hiya, Stinky. What? Oh. Why the long face? It's just that we've been here for so long, and there's so little for us to do. I have to question the soul-crushing bleakness of our existence, and... Oh, wait. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Took him long enough to catch on. The way that sob story was going, I thought he was about to show us baby pictures and have us sign his yearbook. Not cool. What's your story? If you must know, I am the keeper of the power of Earth. Sounds neat. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I'm not going to unleash the tremendous power of the Earth God on just a whim. If we're going to help you with your volcano problem, the least you could do is shake things up a bit. This isn't some game. I wasn't granted elemental powers just to amuse you. Are we going to have to dig this guy up to get the stick out of his butt? He wasn't always like this. There was a time, centuries ago, when the ground would shake with his laughter. And there was a time when you didn't need a sandblaster to fit in your ceremonial dress. That was uncalled for. Hey, how many volcano gods does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hackneyed and blasphemous. Sheesh, tough island. Here's a good one. A Frenchman, a German, and a Maori are in a hot dog eating contest. Don't bother. He hasn't laughed in over 500 years. They just don't write comedy like they used to. Relax, pal. You're gonna turn to diamond if you don't unclench. It's not my fault you two aren't funny. 
Don't go anywhere. We'll be Is back. Is that supposed to be funny? Hey, look. We got you a mouth-watering basalt sandwich. Basalt? Hmm. It's been a while. What about the rabbity guy? Is he cool? More or less. All right, quick, before my carvers get back. Oh, man. That is some kind basalt. Dude, don't bogart the sandwich. Oh, man. It's like I can taste colors. Get a load of Cheech over here, Max. He's lit up like an arsonist's birthday cake. No way, Sam. It's been like five seconds. He can't be that much of a lightweight. Oh, yeah? Watch. Sorry, sir. We just accidentally killed your puppy. <laughs> you cracked me up, little dude. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, you guys want to order a pizza? Well, what if we're like all dreaming now, and what we think is a dream is really reality? That would explain why I'm always showing up at places with no clothes on. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wait, what? Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wait, what? Peace out. Later, dudes. It finally shook loose. Make sure you get my good side, Sam. You have a good side? Look, over here. It's an image of the true high priest, Max. How that get there? Look just like him. It uncanny. That appear completely out of nowhere. Mighty feet. Show our space of true high priest. But you still not satisfy all three prophecies. Rules very explicit on this. Show us two more and we're convinced. Nothing doing. Hey, chimps, watch as High Priest Max performs a great miracle. Oh, mighty feet, hear my command! What was once water, make flavorful drink for my people. What was once colorless, make yellow. That's not impressive. What was once without sustenance, make enriched with calcium, which is something our bodies need anyway. Just get on with it, Max. Eureka! Banang! 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 Eat like a party in the moat! Eat miracle! Mighty feet grant you great power! But you're still not high priest yet! Most satisfy final prophecy! Hello, chimps! Dead dog walking! We want to get Max anointed up! Okay, we Yuma you. Oh, mighty feet, give us a sign. Do you recognize this white stranger as your servant? Praise to the true high priest. Look, feet move. He must be High Priest. Uh-huh, that's right. Bring the love. Good to see you too, Mighty Feet. Sign is clear. 
mighty feet anoint you as high priest. Give blessing. Prophecies are fulfilled. Defeat have spoken. True high priest has returned. People of the feet, all shall love me and despair. No time for that now, little buddy. High priest, take rightful place on altar. We've got to get up there and stop that volcano. So wait, we still get to kill them now, yes? No. Now we deal with imposter. Phony so-called high priest, what have you to say for self? Yeah, what gives, Mr. Spatula? I thought we were pals. He say pals? <laughs> then he spit derisively. Now he say, me welcome death. Better than suffer tyranny of imprisonment on stale fish flakes. I knew I should have taken him for more walks. I blame myself. I blame you too. No, he say, you think you want Simon Max. You really just step in trap. I send triangle to so many you here, and you stupid primitives to waste your time. We not primitive. We have cell phones. They say, now you're too late to stop Volcano. Fascist oppressor Sam and Max get herbal tea and foot rubs once and for all. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Does this thing go any faster? No, he say, that not what I said at all. Me confused, not herbal tea and foot rubs, rain of fire and drowning magma. I always mix those should've up. should have taken the express pot. Now he say, Come, Sam and Max, come to your doom. In my spectral form, I am invincible. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Now he say, my medallion, no, cannot be. What world? What world? Take him to the sacrificial toilet bowl. No time, Max. We're too late to stop the volcano. What do we do? It says, in case of emergency. Press it, Sam! Press it! I suppose now's as good a time as any. Hmm, I wonder what that did. What?! Nothing more we can do here, Max. Let's go up top and check out the situation. What?! Hey, look! I had the parking brake on that whole time. Whoops. It's the official signet of the Ocean Chimp's High Priest. Don't I get to wear it? We don't have a chain long enough to fit around your enormous head, chump. Bloody-nosed Euclid doing the Eucharist on a nitro-burning catamaran. That's the second biggest Bermuda Triangle I've ever seen. Seems to be spinning out of control, too. Well, there goes our only way home. I fail to see how this is helpful in an emergency. This is it. The volcano is about to explode. Bogus. Help us, Sam and Max.
hope there's nobody on the other side of that triangle. I don't care. Oh, you said it, dude, bro. You've done it. You've broken the prophecy. You've saved our ancient civilization from destruction. Hooray! So, sweet thing. Now that's over with. Let's say you and I find somewhere private to get sedimentary. Yeah, I think we should spend some time apart. Your loss. Can I get a ride with you guys? Our portal back home is gone. We're gonna have to swim! Do you float, Mr. Lincoln? Only one way to find out. I get to ride on his dewlap! You can only call that once we get in the water. I guess we just sit here for another few thousand years. That sucks. Dude. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time. For those who came late, sorry.